Now, let's create our first Laravel project. For that, first thing that we have to do, because we have just installed XAM, we have to enable an extension. So, let's go to the config and select php, php.ini. And in here, search for zip. Then remove this semicolon from the beginning of the extension and save this. Once saved, stop this Apache and run it again. Now it started. Then let's go to our ZAMP folder. So let's go to drive C, ZAMP and inside ht docs then in here let's open our cmd command line then in here you have to type composer create dash project laravel slash laravel and your project name so in here i am going to type a student manage mint hit enter now it's creating our project so it's downloading it let's wait until the downloading and installation is finished okay so our project is downloaded successfully completely now let's close this Now, let's open our project in our VS Code. So, let's open the VS Code. Let's go to Open Folder. And in here, let's select our project, which is located in C Drive, XAM, HTDocs, and select our project. Select Folder. Then click Yes, I trust the authors. Cancel this one. Now, to run this project, we have two options. First, the first option is to open your browser and type local host slash student management your project name slash public in the address bar and enter. Now, the project has been running and the second option is to come to your VS Code and open the terminal. To open the terminal, you have to go to View and select the terminal. In here, you have to type PHP Artisan Serve. Enter. Now our project is running in this URL. So you can open it by holding the Control button and clicking on this URL. So let's open it. Now it's open. So in here, the URL is this, and in this, it's like this. So this, these are the two ways that we can run the Laravel application in our local machine.